So Thomas B. Edsall wrote the most talked about and potentially divisive article of the past week for the New York Times predicting an, predicting an urban doom loop. That means the recovery of urban core areas over the past 30 years is coming to a close as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. It's the latest foray into the discussion of an urban exodus. Oh, so when we talk about a loop here, we're almost talking about like a feedback loop or something. Yes, where, where it, like, it, it, it feeds, yes, it feeds itself back and, yeah. it, and it continues to basically spiral down. Okay. So yeah, it's the latest foray into the discussion of an urban exodus that dominated urbanism uh, media in early months of 2020. Is the early months of 2020. People though, are people are uh, figuring out they don't need to be in these places anymore. Also, who yeah. the fuck wrote this? I don't know. This Jeez. is like writing has been over. Though were for, the yeah. discussions of 2020 what happened? Ra- Listen uh, to this. Though were the discussions of 2020 happened rapidly? Hey, what the? F- what yeah, is this? I, dude, Planetizen, do fucking better. Yeah, also. They need that llama fucking sign up. No, yeah, exactly. You My about, you idiots. They need some training the fuck videos. Is going on? Now, I said I was going to not be aggressive. Now you need to now you need to make your if you're going to be a professional writer. Yeah. You've got to you, you have to know how words go together into but, sentence. But this is dude, this has been happening for years. We've been looking Jesus at this for years. It's just like writing Christ. is over. It doesn't matter. All right, let's try to glean some sort of okay. meaning out of this goddamn fucking hodgepodge of words here. Okay. Though uh, the discussions of 2020 <laughs> happened rapidly with sirens wailing in the background, Ed Saul's article now has the benefit of three years of evidence, aggregation, and a collective settling in to the new normal of post-pandemic, endemic COVID-19, and all the changes <sighs> that means. By the way, what are you talking about? Because I look around yeah, at life being back to normal pretty much, except for the three fucking losers at the store still clinging to the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, the yeah. few people out there that still want to be paranoid. For In general, Dude. most everything else has gone completely fucking back to normal. Let's though. start wearing fucking not? hazmat suits for no reason. People were at the beginning. I know, remember that shit? <laughs> yeah. It was fucking awesome. Ed Zoll's examination of the ills facing cities after three years of COVID-19, starts with a working paper examining the remote work revolution, written by Stigen Van <laughs> Neuerberghand, published in November 2022. I mean, also, <laughs> like, let's fucking get it together, dude. Yeah. Like, do you know, Shorten it up, so, so, th- This is what we talk about sometimes when countries have been around for too long. The United States has the benefit of, like, everybody came here with those names, and they're like, eh, They're like, no. Newberg. Okay, we're going to cut this off yeah. and just... Your name is Newbie. Newberg, you're good. You're, Fucking, you're yeah. yeah, Billy Noobs. But, but fuck you, off. It's my heritage. But I am Newberg. <laughs> but I am a Bergland. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what? Why don't you yeah. stop it? <laughs> now, Newberg, uh, Newberg argues that the last 30 years were a golden era for large cities, a virtuous cycle of improving amenities. Now, what the fuck? Who wrote this? Yeah, well. It really depends on how you look at it, huh? I mean, now, sure, surely um, we have seen crime go down since the 90s. Yeah. We know that. Yeah, the last 30 um, years in cities have been, it really has been a golden era. I don't know why this person, I, it, it seems as this person's uh, first language is not English. It might Whoever be, wrote this. I'm going to go look at this person's name. This because, was written by this fucking new Werberger guy. Yes. guy. <laughs> no, this was by James Brasswell. Bra- Brasswell? And his Twitter handle is Casual Brazzwell. Brazzwell. His name must be Brazzwell. Yeah, Casual Brazzwell. Okay. Fuck you. So cle- hey, let's both look in the camera. Let's both look in the camera and tell Casual Brazzwell. Hey. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You piece of shit. Piece of shit. We're coming, We're for, coming for you. coming for you. All right. Um, now, so? Uh, so, basically... As, uh, as, <laughs> That's all's examination of the ills facing cities after three years of COVID nineteen starts with the working paper examining the uh, the remote work revolution. We already saw this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, okay. Let me try and get somewhere into the meat of this. Um, what happened is COVID induced travel patterns out of the city and into the suburbs have taken a more persistent pattern. Now, th- this guy is a. I really do want to find out who the fuck this guy is because this is 
just abysmal writing. Scholars are increasingly voicing concern that the shift to working from home spurred by the COVID pandemic will bring the three-decade renaissance of major cities to a halt. Okay, this is better. Um, setting, setting off, off an, an era, era of urban decay. So I could see... So I mean, this is happening. Though. I guess... So the stats and the, and the data is actually showing this. Yeah. Well, because so many people have realized, like, dude, it, it's been crazy... And also, fuck this story. It's been crazy for Let's years. Let's talk about this. That, like, I remember uh, knowing people, you know, I used to know a bunch of people that did, like, software development. Yeah and um, uh, web development and all this shit. And here's what it was. It was like 10 people in a room. Even though they were in the same room, yeah. all they did was communicate with each other through yeah. their computers. No, they were emailing each other across like fucking desks. three feet away. Yeah, it's and it, so it's like, why did we ever need to be in this room together? So yeah, so, so let we me might explain. as well just be everybody's internet. If 10, 15 years ago, it was like, oh, um, we can't trust that everyone has a totally reliable uh, internet connection and speed and all of that. But that's over. Yeah, with. that's, like, that's fucking easy. So it's yeah. like, like why we can play Fortnite, we can do anything from anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's easy. If we can do that. We if can we can do that, we could send a fucking email. Right. So let me just run down what the actual... Fu- be, yeah, look, casual fucking... Uh, Nashual over here. Mm-hmm. I don't remember his name. But that guy wrote a fucking horrible piece about this. This is what's happening. So during the pandemic, everyone was told to work from home. So then as the pandemic came out, or as uh, you know, society came out of this pandemic... A lot of companies were like, oh, well, this is actually better. We're getting, um, we're seeing more um, productivity. We're, you know, our, our, our employees yeah, turns are out it's sort just of like happier. A, a better way to do things. Yeah. So they kept it going. Yeah. A lot of the people, say, in downtown Chicago or downtown San Francisco or Manhattan or whatever, they were like, oh, well, if I don't have to work, you know, live here because I work here, because a lot of people only live near there because of the commute. Yeah. Why am I paying $3,200 in rent where there's yeah. fucking rats everywhere? Yeah. And like, yeah. yeah. Homeless so, people and shit. And like, so they're get, like, then they go to their friend's house out in, in the suburbs, out in Lamont. Hey, yeah. you just bought two acres for 200 grand. Yeah, and so exactly. Like, and they're like, Holy well, what the fuck? fuck? I'm going to yeah. do this. So this is what happened is a lot of these professionals said, well, fuck it. If I can work from home now, I'm going to go purchase property in the, in the uh, suburbs. Yeah. And so now they've all moved out. It's going to be quiet. There's Manhattan no co- no has lost like, like two hundred thousand residents. Chicago's lost like seventy five thousand residents from the. And these are not residents that are you know stuck there. Right. These are residents that we are putting money into the fucking yeah. Mm. So, <clears throat> from what I understand, when these people leave. Um, and it's not it's not just them. It's like so Manhattan, they, San Francisco's lost one hundred fifty thousand so people. Are you saying, and these are people who like uh, have an an above average effect on the economy, most likely. Yeah. So when they leave, all the restaurants that they went to, Uh, all the CVSs, and then a domino, everything, kind of all of a sudden, all of their dollars are no longer there. Right. So now these people are struggling to even stay. And now (laughs) couple this with the this new um, brazenness of criminals because of all of these. You know, sort of policies that have, have said, like in in California and Chicago, um, where it's like, well, if you steal anything under a thousand dollars, it's not even a you know. So now you have all these fucking businesses getting robbed what constantly. You, what do you think happened? Because it's undeniable that, like, at some point, people just decided, you know what, I can crimes just, fine. I can well, but it's like. <laughs> I'm not going to be up on a high horse about fucking people stealing from big stores or whatever the fuck. I, whatever. It's, it's whatever. It's, but, I know. But it's, it's, we've all done it. Right. I mean, nobody's perfect, but still, at some point, people decided that, like, you know what I can do is I can just walk in. Nobody's going to do shit. I can just bust up shit. Well, because laws were big, literally big, put in place. But it's like, it's, a, it's, it's, it's once the, um, Ice has been broken on that. Yeah, it's like then it's no just everybody. Why would you and not? People are filming it, and the result. Yeah, ninety nine percent of those videos of people just busting shit up at a CVS, no consequences. <laughs> it's yeah. like it, it is weird. So it's like what? Like, uh, so so those two things coupled with so the the mass exodus of all of these people that are pumping money into the system plus like massive theft and then and massive like, theft all of these businesses are now closing so now there is no uh revenue there so now there's no tax dollars being collected so that now the policing goes down now the 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 money allocated from the cities to these areas has been now diminished to a, a certain point so 
what it what this doom cycle is is just now more people that didn't leave are now looking around going well what the fuck am i living here for and so businesses are trying to get people to go back to maybe dude, the office and they're like no 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 i'll maybe, go somewhere else then maybe there's another way to look at this though but is, is like, this the, the collapse of cities i don't know but maybe if it is it's a necessary and natural correction you know what i mean did you ever think of it that way? i always think that yeah, 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 yeah. because i it, always think that it you might, know who doesn't think that is a city official you know who doesn't think that is like the people that own all these businesses yes, that's exactly <laughs> like, right i don't but give a i'm in the you know, burps yeah man we were already out here yeah. we, we had had the opportunity to live even in my but here's the good thing in my 20s i didn't want to live down there even no, when it would have i did it, live there in my 20s and it, even it when it would have been fun i'm like hey, it's it's too much to deal with but no but like maybe this is a natural correction because of like we can all look around and see how fucking strangely and unrealistically expensive and inflated these places are and it's yeah. like it might be just like a bubble b- bursting that it just had to at some point you know and it's like one way or another <laughs> this fucking this 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 circumstance was going to end <laughs> you know i yeah. don't know is that no i don't know i don't know i mean yeah i, I think that there are natural cycles that happen like that and yeah. when you get too many people it in just, one place for too long and it just I goes it so just, something goes on yeah it but goes so against the natural order that at some point something's got to give I think. but a funny thing about this to me is all of the so there was a video and I should have had it up here, but there was a video of this. Uh, what's who's the mayor of New York right now? It's a black dude. Can't remember his name, but he's he's he's. Uh, I only could think of things I can't say. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah. But oh. he's like it's he's he's doing a press conference and he's going. I mean, we need all of these businesses to get back. We need people back in the office. We. We cannot oh, have that everybody yeah, going yeah. uh going out to the sub, you know, blah blah blah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to, we need to take care of each other, you know. If the, you know, whatever. Meanwhile, he's still wearing a mask. Like, yeah. hey, fuck stick. Nobody wants to live in your city because of your draconian <sighs> fucking methods of taking care of shit, and especially that it. didn't help anything. Yeah. So, and- but this is this is what I was gonna say is. Unfortunately, and ironically, I think, all of the cities that are going through this, it's not fucking Floridian cities. It's not Texan cities. This is New York, Chicago, LA, San Francisco. These are the big blue cities, right? Uh Uh-huh. And so all of these people that are championing the poor and championing the disenfranchised have literally, yet again... Put in place policies that will leave the poor uh, forgotten, helpless, and helpless. Yeah, it's it's com- fucking completely insane to me how many times this happens. Or if I don't, that's the other thing, I'm trying to like think of it in a positive way, where sure. it's like if this is a, some kind of natural correction, maybe eventually it leaves them in a more opportune and less taxing and demanding position where it's like maybe then some of the actual like realistic values are are instilled and corrected where it's like maybe these places end up where the average person could work an average job and rent an apartment at some point you know i I mean maybe i don't know but i don't know it it seems like yet another failed policy but a hundred percent but but maybe that's good in the end i don't know it could be i mean i would say if there's any silver lining to this to me is we've talked about this many times is like that world economic forum that sort of uh, agenda those hacks the agenda what is it agenda 21 yeah agenda 21 yeah. um where it's like everyone wants although to, i think that was like a un directive but yeah, yeah but like the bill gates <clears throat> however there's this idea of corralling everyone into cities rather than having the well, this uh, yeah. sort of achieved the opposite. Sure. Agenda Everyone's tw- like, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> right. And, well, but then the only people left there are the people that don't have any choice. And it's like that. I don't want to call them riffraff because I am one of the, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm riffraff. Yeah. I'm like, in the scheme of things. I'm a proud shitholer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's not like I'm trying to disparage anyone, but, you know, it's people of less means. That'll be left there because they can't. They don't have any fucking choice yeah. but to stay there. 
So anyone that has any money that's going to be pumping money into that economy is going to leave. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. And and in waves, you know what I mean? That's you know, hence doom cycle. Right. It looks a little um, bleak, but it looks a little know. bleak. But yeah. then how, what do we have? We got a bunch of Mad Max fucking scenarios on there because but then, see, like, look, we've seen this happen um, before and I don't know if it's totally the same thing, but think about somewhere like uh, there's a neighborhood for our Nairobi uh, for our, yeah, for our international audience. Logan Square was a neighborhood that I think if you went back to like the 70s, actually the only uh, neighborhood I lived in in Chicago. Oh, OK, so think yeah. about this. Um, I was and you on probably, the border of Avondale and, and Logan Square. While you were there, I'm guessing you probably were seeing some of these trends. But uh, No, when you, I was there, you, it was just Puerto Rican gangbangers. Well, that's what I mean. So you go back bikers. to a certain point, and it's a pretty rough neighborhood, and yeah, high, yeah. high crime, very low People ranks. being shot at the, at the yeah, liquor store. Shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Now you get up to like the early 2000s, it's all of a sudden a hipster mecca. Yeah, and, it's insane and to me when I go down there now. I'm then like, it peaked, the fuck is it this? peaked a few years back with expensive bars and all this shit. Dude. And you know what I mean? But like... Like you've seen this cycle before in a way where it's like, um, so say these places, you know, that you're, that you're talking about that were once prosperous neighborhoods now go on this massive decline. Well, then they'll probably naturally come back up to somewhere else eventually, you know, and but it's also thing that God, just keeps going around. Is there like, any way we could just make sure the hipsters stay there while this declines? They won't do it. I've, I know I, they can't. They've, uh, Fuck. The, uh, uh, well, I, I used to have this conversation in new orleans a lot because we've talked about this before not to make it everything racial again but i know there's um, nothing racial about race they won't they <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> this is the thing is yeah because eventually a lot of these are racial discussions but i know it's they, like, they just um, somehow are it's yeah. america it's fucking weird but i remember having this discussion with a lot of the hipsters that would claim to like hate white people uh, and yeah. i'm like well then why are you in the most expensive neighborhood in this city where all the white people live why? Why aren't, aren't you, you in the neighborhood where you won't see? Yeah. Why aren't any, you by the United Center? Any white people? Why aren't you ever? Over there? I could. Oh, I know why. Because like, you'll get robbed I know, every single fucking day. Because you're scared. <laughs> yeah. Because and, <laughs> you know? and scared for a reason. Yeah. Because you'll and be fucking robbed. Anyways, day. the only point is, yeah, they'll leave. Um, anyway, they'll they'll right. white flight it just like the uh, last generation. They will. But now you know? this brings me to all right. We're gonna we're gonna go to a break, folks. Um, anyone that's still here? Oh, we got people here. Justin, a black vote only matters once every four years, he says. The blue realizes their votes are cast by Riri's and love to pander to that vote. It's all they do. What's Riri's? Retards. Uh, oh, really? Is that the <laughs> yeah. new code? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Church? I've, I've fallen back on some of those. Yeah. Remember when um, the thing for Jews was three parentheses? Yeah. And like, I was never really doing it, but I would see people do it as a joke or something, you know? Yeah, it was um, all pretty much satirical. It was all just to piss someone yeah, off. Yeah, it was just know? Yeah, like, tongue yeah. in cheek kind of shit. Um, uh, but yeah, we're going to take a quick break because we're at 205. We're going to come back. We gotta, we, we're never going to cover all the shit we have here. Um, nah, we'll get to some of it. Though. Yeah, we'll get to some of it, though. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to put some commercials on from the 80s, your favorite. And also, in Books, the meantime, check them out. Think of what you, uh, let me know what you think of my I'm, I've grown my beard out a little. It looks very patchy. You know what? I didn't the, notice yet. I'm going to wait till we come back from the break to look. Yeah, it looks very patchy in the fucking uh, Oh, I can't wait. Uh, but also, give me your thoughts on whether me and Vinny should both grow out curly mustaches and move to the city. All right. And when we come back, we'll we'll go out on the porch right now and try to fucking like, like squeeze out <laughs> yeah. some mustaches. We'll, we'll try to we can come up get with this there. going. All right. All right. If you're real lucky, we'll both have mustaches when we get back. <laughs> 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 